So when I was learning how to code around day seven, um, I was doing the Odin project and they have a great curriculum. You know, you can learn how to code. I would say learn H learning HTML and CSS is not exactly a uh, computer science, but it's, you're definitely learning like, you know, how to code up a web page, how to style a web page, things of that nature. So, you know, for someone who's never done anything like that, it could be um, a great introduction to computer science. However, you're not really learning any logic and you're not really learning like how to make an algorithm, how to manipulate data, how to make your web page or your website interactive, how to make a web application. All those things are more in the realm of computer science. So right around day seven, I was starting to feel like, okay, yeah, I made a website, looks great. I actually made a website for my wife. She has her own business teaching English and she needed a website to promote her services. So I, you know, I made a pretty nice website for her as part of like the final project of the Odin curriculum. And I think it came out pretty well. Um, there's a style of web design, which I think it's called um, like minimalist web design or something along those lines, which basically means you keep the HTML as raw as possible. Or maybe it's called raw web design, something like that. So the focus there is not to make the website look so beautiful as much as it is to make it very simple and easy to understand and easy to read. So that was my focus when designing her website, as you can see here. I made her a homepage. At the bottom, I put a call to action, like a little offer to, you know, kind of incentivize people to click and, you know, leave their information and hopefully sign up for the lessons. So yeah, so I haven't finished the um, HTML and CSS part of the curriculum. You know, it does continue on through JavaScript. So as I was starting to do the JavaScript, I kind of realized, you know, if I'm going to get into this whole, I know learning JavaScript from what I've heard is a fairly complex thing. And I thought, you know, if I'm gonna go down this whole rabbit hole of learning JavaScript, you know, I might as well do it well. And the feeling that I had gotten from the HTML and CSS curriculum, even though it was great and I learned a lot, I felt like it was kind of limited. I think that it's also kind of basic, you know, they just get you to a certain level and then there isn't really anywhere else to go from there. And it's not really teaching you the fundamentals of computer science, which is what I believe you need if you wanna, you know, you need that solid base in order to build on if you want to learn in the future to be a web developer, front end, back end, machine learning, algorithm, uh, embedded, you know, all these different fields. You need to understand how memory works. You need to understand how computers analyze information and transmit information and store information. And what are algorithms, what are data structures? How do you learn new languages based on the languages that you already know? This is called programmatic programming etc etc there's just so many basic things that you need to know that you're not going to get with the odin project and you're not going to get it while you're in tutorial hell if so i'm going to invest all this effort all this time onto learning javascript through odin i'm not going to know the, the foundations i'm not going to know a lot of stuff i'm still going to lack a lot so i figured you know i'm in this for the long run like i want to do this correct if i'm going to learn javascript i want to do it correct I don't want to have like some quick tutorial teaching me the foundations and then I'm going to have like just like black holes all around my knowledge that I'm going to have to fill up later with additional tutorials. And it just seemed to me like a ticket into tutorial hell, which is what a lot of people, you know, tell you to stay away from. So, you know what? I just decided to go ahead and try to find like a proper college level course that will teach you everything from the bottom up. And so I went ahead and I found CS50. Hello world, this is CS50, Harvard University's introduction to the intellectual enterprises of computer science and the art of programming. CS50 is a course that teaches you how to design and implement solutions to problems. But more than that, it teaches you how to think more critically, more methodically, more computationally. It's by Harvard University. It's fully online. It's 100% free and you get a free certificate at the end. And I don't know about you, but I think that having a certificate with your name on it that says Harvard on it is pretty good, especially if you're getting that for free. However, the course is not easy, which I totally don't get that, but it's a very good course. You learn a lot. So yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna be signing up for this course and we'll see how it goes. The course over there by Harvard is divided into a weekly curriculum. It's 10 weeks plus a final project. So I'm basically just gonna make a video out of each week. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you're, again, if you're interested in learning how to code and just want to try it out, I would recommend you go ahead and try out the Odin project. Try it out for a week. Try it out. It's 100% free. They have a very nice interactive platform. So if you just want to see if it's something, if, you know, computer science is something that you like or not, I wouldn't spend any time signing up for fancy courses. I wouldn't definitely not spend any money signing up for any sort of, you know, Udemy, Coursera type course 
or any type of guru course i would that's also i don't think that's something that's worth it just try out the odin project do the couple of their as assignments over there i think you know you if you get the hang of it if you feel like you can continue learning again as you see in my previous videos it's pretty hard to learn coding i'm not going to sugarcoat it but if you stick to it and you've set your mind to it you it's possible to do it and you're gonna feel a great sense of accomplishment from completing a lot of these assignments which feel impossible to complete so again head out to the odin project and just you know stay tuned to the future videos um so you see more or less you get an idea of what cs50 is if you feel like you already want to jump in the cold water go ahead and sign up for cs50 it's an amazing course they have multiple tracks and i really want to believe that this is how the future good software engineers are going to be trained just you know 100 online through amazing free courses such as cs50 so that's it for this video guys see you in the next video